and uh, guys again you need to to understand that before you apply for um, a student visa to any country not all countries in europe or the schengen uh, zone or the european union who want you to legalize documents before you apply for visas especially those in uh, germany for you to apply for a student visa to germany you must not certify uh, your documents okay so there are specific countries that you will need to legalize your documents um poland is one of them latvia is one of them probably lithuania is another one but uh, when it comes to uh, germany you will not be needing uh, legalized documents okay you just carry two sets of uh, photocopies and uh, one set of originals then you go to the embassy and you apply for so uh, because you hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for for joining today thank you this is uh, actually a quick uh, a quick video i want to do uh, um, so that uh, my followers from cameroon especially can understand okay is going to be very brief um, and I think it concerns those who who are doing legalization okay legalization of documents to to apply for schools especially those schools in Poland right now if you are one of them um, please make sure you stay to the end of this video because it's going to be somehow um, informative okay I just noticed this morning that uh, um, many people still don't understand okay what legalization is all about so now i am doing this basically for cameroonians okay because the places i'm going to be giving are mostly in cameroon okay and again before i forget welcome guys uh welcome back guys and uh, if you didn't know my name is milton Fonkwa, the only village boy on africa doing youtube yes i am a village boy i was born I was not born in the village but I grew up in the village okay before I later moved for studies so thank you for understanding um, if you are a student in Cameroon who intend to apply to any university in Poland okay let me put it this way there are so many things you need to know okay first of all you need to start uh, making Google your friend and uh, when you are at that position remember i there are some videos on my channel i said uh, if you want to study in poland you need to legalize your document there is another one about proof of forms okay i think i have a couple of videos on my channel talking about studies in poland there are about four or five or so so please make sure you go check them out and you watch those videos okay now for legalization for Cameroonians, please listen. It's not just for Polish um, universities. If you want to apply to other places like in Latvia, you also need to legalize your documents. Okay, and uh, for those in Poland, if you have an ordinary level certificate and an advanced level certificate, an HND and a degree, the places you are going to be certifying them are actually uh, different. Okay, um, these places are not the same. Okay, they are not the same. So, before you apply to Polish universities or before you apply for your visa, you need to uh, legalize your documents. Okay, and legalization means that you take them to the Ministry of Higher Education, you take them to the Ministry of External Relations, and of course, you take them to the embassy then to legalize them and remember before you go for legalization you photocopy one set that is you need to have photocopies of your originals and uh, alongside the originals one five for the originals one five for the photocopies okay before you carry them to your own day and now this is what you need to know for Cameroonians you need to take your ordinary levels and advanced level certificates to um, the Ministry of External Relations, okay? Take them to the Ministry of External Relations. Before I continue, before you go to the ministries in Yaoundé, um, I think you need to hold some money on you. I don't know how much, but just take some money on you, maybe 5,000 or 10,000 in case anything happens that you need to, to pay for. Um, make sure that you, you take some money on you, okay? Because, uh, 
remember legalization or certification requires stamps uh, something called fiscal stamps so you need to buy those stamps or pay for those stamps or maybe any other type of stamps all right so do not go there the stamps will not be borrowed to you don't go there to those offices and you think that you would be given for free no it doesn't function that way um take your ordinary levels to the advanced levels an advanced level to the ministry of external relations but first of all before you apply if you have an admission in poland go to the polish website polish embassy website and verify what they say you should certify all the places okay because automatically they will specify all of these places there but if you are doing um other admissions know that all these ministries i'm giving you will not certify all the documents all levels and advanced levels in cameroon will be done at the ministry of external relations now let me move to hnd those with higher national diploma it is called hnd um you have to go to the ministry of higher education okay those with higher national diploma that is hnds carry your hnd your their certificate or your transcript or whatsoever to the ministry of higher education I hope this is clear all right when you take it to the ministry of higher education they will certify it of course you are going to pay for stamps or something so i mentioned that before do not forget it's very important the ministry of higher education for hnd now the other set of people for those um uh, with let me say degrees especially people like me or my other friends or you with a degree especially a degree from the university of boya take your degree or the transcript or the attestation or the certificate or whatsoever if you have a bachelor's or a master's or a phd or whatsoever degree from the university of boya or any other university take it to the university okay for them to certify it. if you take it to yaounde to any ministry they will send you back to the university especially the university of boya do not forget it is very important okay take those who graduated from the university of boya you know what to do okay if you don't know go to the transcript office the transcript office is found somewhere around um, is it amphi 150c or something one of those amphis are okay close to the faculty of arts go there they are going to explain all of these things to you okay it's very simple Take those with degrees, I repeat, especially the University of Boya, take them back to the university or um, the attestation. If you don't have your degree, take your attestation um, to show that you have completed your studies. Or maybe transcripts, of course, will be given from the University of Boya, okay? So take your degree or your attestation back to the University of Boya and tell them to certify it. Don't take it to the ministries because they will send you back. Now, those with HND, I said take your HND or um, your document or your certificate. If you have got an HND, take it to the Ministry of Higher Education. Those with ordinary levels, okay, take it to the Ministry of External Relations. I hope that is very clear. Now, if you are applying for Polish visas or if you intend to apply for Polish visas, gather all of these documents and take them back to the embassy, okay? But to the Polish embassy for certification then you apply for your visa i hope that is clear oh before you apply check the polish embassy website to know okay which documents and which ministries because automatically they are going to explain that there. do not come because i have a lot of people coming to my inbox i had to explain a lot of things to one guy today morning and you know talking to a lot of people it sometimes it gives you headache but I'm strong. I pray God continue to strengthen me so that I can continue to do the work. Okay, it's not easy. So that is what we all should understand as Cameroonians. Okay, for Nigerians, you do have your own ministries for um, those from South Africa, um, Ethiopia, um, Uganda, Kenyans, uh, Malawians, or how are they call it? People from Malawi. How do they call them? Anyways, I will find out. People from Zimbabwe as well, Congo, and all the two Congos, Kinshasa and uh, Brazzaville, we all do have our own ministries. So if you are applying, make sure you verify this information. It's very, very important. Okay. I think um, there is nothing I'm forgetting. If there is anything, someone again came asking me about uh, 
her there is something someone said she wanted to find out how much is application fee in uh, college universities please there is a video on my channel I two videos I did about the rock law university of applied sciences and another one for uh, the university in Warsaw the two universities don't have the same application fee okay schools in Poland have different applications fees there are schools that will run uh, that will ask you to give uh, at least 200 euros 150 to 200 euros or so why others will maybe asking you 50 euros so just check which one is within your range or which one has a program you can study okay that is what you need to know about this certification stuff especially Cameroonians okay because these ministries I mentioned are all in Cameroon so don't forget it's very important thank you guys um, for this please do not forget to as usual subscribe okay and share this video so that so many people can understand as well what I'm trying to say it's very very important